You're listening to That Gets My Goat. All right, everybody, welcome. Welcome to That Gets My Goat. Yes. I said never again. Oh, sorry. Uh, this is Rish Outfield. And I'm Big Yankovic. And as promised, we're talking about the summer movies as they come out. That's right. And uh, if you look at the calendar, it's time for us to talk about Pirates of the Caribbean, colon, on Stranger Tides, which is the fourth movie in this Pirates of the Caribbean series. Somewhat anticipated. Would you say it was wildly anticipated? No, I don't think so. It was anticipated. I wouldn't say wildly. There were some people that were like, oh, this is going to be as big a deal as the last two, or I can't wait. You know, bring the whole family kind of. There are some wild people about the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. There's people that have like Jack Sparrow tattoos and stuff, so. And yeah, while I'm not one of them, the first movie was great. And the second two movies were very watchable. And so, yeah, I I went and uh, was happy to go. I, I was happy to see it in 2D. And, uh, and the movie came, and uh, very few people seemed to go to see it as well. But let's talk about it. What, what did you think? You go first. Uh, okay. Well, I didn't see it. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, hey, thank you for listening. Uh, yeah. We'll catch you next week. Uh, I've been Rish Outfield. That has been Rish This My Goat. Good night. See you. And now... Uh... I mentioned in our regular show... This uh, Green Lantern audio drama that I got to be a part of, I got to voice two characters. So one of them is is Sinestro, who's the leader of the Sinestro Corps, which is uh, Yellow Lanterns, Yellow Ring. Mm-hmm. Do, do you know what the, the Green Ring means and what the Yellow Ring means? What they mean? Yeah, what they stand for. I don't think so. Well, the the Green is Will, Will Power. Oh, okay, I do know that. I don't know the Yellow the though. Yellow is Fear. Oh, okay. And Sinestro recently has organized a Sinestro core of just like monsters and murderers and creatures of the night that instill fear in their prey. And he's given them a yellow ring, which enables them to do as the Green Lanterns do, but, but controlling fear. And do you know who he chose as the Yellow Lantern of Earth? No, who? Uh, he chose Batman to be the Yellow Lantern of Earth. Because Batman instills fear in the cowardly and superstitious. And Batman was cool with that? Isn't he supposed to be a good guy? I think he, uh, well, I I don't know. Interesting. I know know that he did accept the ring at one point, and I know that the Scarecrow also has a ring. So it may be that it passed to Scarecrow after Batman decided he he didn't want to be on that side. That's interesting. Yeah, my friend who was really into Green Lantern was telling me that I had to, that was the one that I had to read was the Sinestro Core War. They had a big ongoing series about that. And then a Apparently, after that, they've done a few more uh, of these things where they've come up with bla- they have black lanterns. There's red lan. There's many colors of lanterns out there. He actually showed up one day wearing this shirt, and he's like, "What do you think of my shirt?" And I'm like, "What is that?" And he's like, "It's a red lantern. Come on!" And I was like, "Okay." Yeah, each each color in the spectrum represents something, and I guess that there was a group with those and and black was death yeah they had like a bunch of zombies and they got a bunch of the dc characters who had died Uh, and superman was a black lantern because he had died and come back i thought that was neat but anyhow on this uh this audio drama it takes place after that yellow uh, after that sinestro core war War. and uh, i guess he's following the continuity of the books and and i'm assuming he knows way more than I do about (laughs) the characters and stuff. It seems to be really well written. And I like when somebody puts this much work and effort into their passion. Yeah, that is cool. And here's a promo that they made with each of the lanterns giving the Green Lantern oath. And then uh, that's me laughing at the end. (laughs) (laughs) All right, let's play that. Coming soon to MisfitsAudio.com, the much-anticipated series of galactic proportions sure to bring order to the chaos of this universe. In brightest day, in blackest night, Darren Marlar as Hal Jordan. No evil shall escape my sight. H. Keith Lyons as Guy Gardner. Let those who worship evil's might. Chris Stackler as John Stewart. Beware my power. And Jack Kalk as Kyle Raynor. 
Green Lantern's Light. So there you go. That's the promo for it. Swing on over and check those out. You can hear Rish in a different context and uh, hear him being evil. <laughs> Please, sir, that gets my goat is produced under a Creative Commons 3.0 license. <laughs>